Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the San Francisco 49ers and their 2021 season outlook in terms of which games do I think that they're going to win. Now, keep in mind that I will include things such as upsets as NFL seasons do inquire upsets. So just because I pick a team to win does not necessarily always mean that I feel that they're, um, you know, the better team. Sometimes I do incorporate, you know, stuff like buy week stuff upsets things of that sort so do bear that in mind but with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this because i'm excited to talk about the nfc west in general and we'll start with these 49ers and so obviously the biggest news in this offseason has been the acquisition of trading up to get trey lance um, will he be the future of this team and will he be able to be successful at that? I think he will be. I love the move here to get um, Trey Lance. Absolutely huge. Jimmy Garoppolo as well. He still has a role here with these 49ers. And when he was healthy um, last for these 49ers for the duration of the season, they were able to get to the Super Bowl. So this team has high hopes. And when you have guys like George Kittle, I mean, George Kittle, you know, arguably the best tight end in the game. You know, you put him, Travis Kelsey, they're on tiers of their own. You know, um, Raheem Moster, can he stay healthy enough to be the running back that we all know that he can? But I love what the 49ers did, you know, especially in the draft, adding more depth. I was surprised that they added as many running backs as they did. But if you're the 49ers, you've certainly seen, you know, um, a lot of, you know, injuries on that team. So adding a lot of depth is important. And that's really going to be the biggest thing for the 49ers. Can they stay healthy? Already throughout the offseason, they're struggling with a little bit of injuries, you know, a little bit of um, suspension and stuff but with that being said though i love the depth that they have and even last year despite all the injuries and stuff going through about three different quarterbacks they still finished with like about just about slightly below average offense and defense was about average and so and that's you know with all the injuries and so i can only imagine that they're going to be much better this year i've got high hopes for these 49ers for sure um, I think it's going to be instrumental that they get some big, you know, like a lot of production this season from their receivers as well. You know, regardless of who's quarterback, they're going to need Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel both, I think, to get close to, if not at a thousand yards apiece. I think that would really help open up this offense. I do love the addition of bringing in um, Alex Mack. That was a very good de um, decision there. And they opened up the wallet and paid for Trent Williams. So absolutely love what they did to help improve this offense. Um, and then just on defense, they're already stacked. We already know that. Nick Bosa, absolutely fantastic. Eric Armstrong. I mean, they've got, you know, Fred Warner. They've got so many pieces here on defense. And that def that front seven is going to make things easier on the back end for the secondary, which is certainly um, good news there. So I like this 49ers team from top to bottom. But now that you know that, let's go ahead and start talking about these teams in terms of wins and losses. Who do I have winning? Um, so I went ahead and took the liberty of going through the schedule already. And so I do I did jot down who I have, you know, winning and losing each of these games as I tried to simulate week by week, you know, just different factors and things. And so for the 49ers and their opening game against the Detroit Lions in Detroit, I've got the 49ers going on the road, regardless of who's quarterbacking. And my prediction right now is that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be quarterbacking to start off this season. Um, and then against the Eagles, I've got the 49ers winning that one as well. So they'll start off two and oh. Against Green Bay at San Francisco, I've seen this defense give Aaron Rodgers some fit, and, and I did determine um, for this projection that Aaron Rodgers would be quarterbacking for the Packers. But either way, I've got the 49ers winning that game. At home against the Seahawks, I've got the Seahawks. You know, I think the Seahawks are going to get off to a fast start early this season, so it's just going to come down to him outdueling Jimmy. Um, but no big deal here as they're going to rebound against the Cardinals, who I'm also pretty high on this year for the Arizona Cardinals. So now we have a bye week. These 49ers are currently 4-1 and one at the bye week. And so coming out of the bye week against an Indianapolis team that I think is going to be, you know, one of those teams that you got to keep an eye on. They'll be sneaky good again. Um, I gave this one to the Indianapolis Colts. Um, and then against the Chicago Bears, I actually gave this one to Chicago. And then against the Arizona Cardinals, I also gave that one to the Cardinals. So I think at this point, it's some somewhere along the line, it's where I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to come in and start during one of these three games in terms of a stretch. Obviously, they very well could beat the Bears, especially if the Bears at this point still, you know, if they're still rocking Andy Dalton, then perhaps the um, 49ers will have that one. But perhaps the Bears, they might have Justin Fields in. And so we'll just have to see. There's a lot of unknowns here, but at home, I gave the advantage here to the Chicago Bears. Um, 49ers right now, they're off to a 4-4 four four start. 
Um, but at home against the Rams, they're able to recover in a big game because the Rams, I've got extremely high hopes for these Rams this year. So right now they're at five and four. So going against the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, Urban Meyer and company, I've got them going down there, getting that W. Against the Minnesota Vikings, I've got the 49ers as well, being able to win that one. Um, against the Seahawks, I think they're going to go ahead and go down to Seattle and get that W there. And so, honestly, if you feel better, you could have swapped, you know, um, either of these games in terms of the Seahawks winning this one and then when in week four, them beating the Seahawks. It could it could go either way, honestly. Um, and, but in week 14 against the Cincinnati Bengals, um, I told you that I included upsets. Well, this is not going to be one of them as the 49ers are going to win that one. Um, home against the Atlanta Falcons for these 49ers. I've got them beating the Atlanta Falcons here. Um, and then week 16 against the Tennessee Titans, I gave this one to Tennessee here. You know, I, I feel at this point they're probably going to have um, Trey Lance in there at this point. And then, you know, he's, you know, he's going to have a game or two where, you know, he just looks like a rookie probably. But for the most part, he'll be good. And so I think they'll slip up here at Tennessee. That's a good game to slip up on right there. Um, but after that, against the Houston Texans, I've got them winning that one. Against the Rams, though, to end the season, I've got the Rams winning that one and so overall if you look at this entire season for the 49ers i've got them going 11 and 6 so far given their season and how difficult the nfc west is going to be so 11 and 6 that's pretty good right there and so we will see where that ranks when i do my final you know like once all i once i've covered every single team I will do like my whole playoff scenario based upon my results from this schedule in terms of, you know, which teams end up making the playoffs based upon my projections so far. Then I'll go from there. But yeah, definitely. I think this will be a good season for the 49ers, 11 and six. That sounds like a good year to me. Five and three at home, six and three on the road. That sounds good there. I'm three and three within the division. Just such a tough division overall. Um, but there you have it. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining um, this video. Really appreciate you guys and your support um, and look forward to seeing you guys next time. So take care.